My name is Daniel Caesar. And I'm Keisha Caesar. We know that last year was uh, kind of tough for everyone, um, especially with uh, COVID and, and our family is impacted as well. Um, you know, throughout the year, we had a lot of things going on, um, a lot of changes. Um, you know, we have three children, um, three boys, uh, Ethan, Liam, and Jeremy, and uh, they all went virtual uh, during that time. Um, we had to transition um, and, and do a lot of uh, adjusting. And throughout that time, um, we thought it was important to stay connected um, to the church. And we tried to find as many avenues as we could. And through Calvary, we were able to find a lot of different opportunities to serve and to stay connected through small groups. We found it important to stay together as a family, that's for sure. And, um, you know, praying together um, as a family and, and, and pushing ourselves because it wasn't easy. That's the one thing. It hasn't been easy this year, but just staying prayerful and hopeful and with the small groups and, um, you know, the resources that we have through Calvary. Like it's been um, a lot of encouragement for each other. Um, not only have we received, but also been able to give back. And that's why we felt it was important to keep pushing because it was easy to get into not knowing what to do next if you didn't keep connected. Um, it's easy to get into a dark place. So we just found that it was important that we continue to remain connected with the church. We had yes. other people who were going through the same things. And we were able to share our worries, our doubts, our fears with others and also see how they handled it and also pray for each other. Um, it was very important for us to reach out and have that, you know, that, that other person on the other line say, hey, if you need prayer, if you need, um, you know, a moment to talk or, you know, how about, you know, we all just meet up and just have, you know, a conversation about what's going on and what you're feeling. And, and I think also too, um, the sermons were very key uh, just week to week, um, even if we couldn't make it to church at one point when they went virtual for a little bit, it was still so encouraging to see, you know, how God was still using uh, the church virtually to still deliver the message and, you know, have that encouragement and have that moment of worship in my home, you know, where I was stuck for a couple months. You know, I'm just excited for where he, he's taking me, where he's going to, um, you know, grow me so that I could also potentially one day, you know, lead a small group is, is you know, the hope that I have and the prayer that I have. So, you know, my goals uh, for, for this year most definitely is to get more involved in the churches any way that I can. And so whatever opportunities come about you know, just for me reaching out and, you know, making that first step, uh, I'm just excited to see. He's got a lot of plans for every one of our lives, and it's very important that we continue to be led. And I'm excited to see um, what he has in store um, when sharing uh, what he's given us and provided us as a family um, with others, because um, then that can be shared on um, and just continued to be shared. I would just say, stay encouraged. Um, God has the final say, and no matter what anybody else says, and no matter what the world says, we know that we can stand on God's promises and stand on his word. And for a believer, that's, that's pretty much all we have. And so, you know, God is not man that he should lie. And I'm just so thankful for what he's done for, for my family uh, personally and just the opportunities that we've had.